Okay, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this is a highly, highly requested video, probably my most requested video of all time. And for reference, it's half 11, I'm here in Ibiza, chilling. There is literally no one around, no distractions, no parties. I've been cooking for five days in a row, haven't eaten out once, life is good, I'm back in the gym, I've got my cast off, I'm starting to be able to walk again, and I'm actually really happy to be in Ibiza. There's not really much going on, and it's a really good place now for me to work and to get focused so I don't know if you guys know but for over the last month it's been a little bit crazy of course I've had my cast cut off I've been in rehab but I lost my Instagram account for almost three weeks just over two weeks I lost my Instagram account so I was kind of confused I didn't know what to do I didn't know whether my career would be able to continue on Instagram as you know I get paid by brands and sponsors and that's how I make a living so I was kind of scared me and my friend Ranbir you guys all know Ranbir helped me get my account back, had to pay a lot of money to get it back, and now I'm back online, which is good. During those two weeks, I pretty much had nothing to do, and I wanted to work on a project that I've been meaning to work on for a very, very long time. It was Uncle Mike's idea. He was the one that suggested it almost a year and a half ago, and I just never had enough time to put all of my focus into one thing. So me losing my Instagram was actually a blessing. I felt like, I just felt like a weight had been lifted off my shoulders almost. I was obviously concerned that I wasn't gonna get it back, but I also had so much free time and time to work on projects and do things that I haven't been able to do for a very long time because I've always been focused on creating content for Instagram, making my money via Instagram. So yeah, what I've done is I've built a course, an online course on how you guys can escape the nine to five to live a free life, be happy, wake up when you wanna wake up, work whenever you want, work from wherever you want, travel whenever you want you don't have to ask anyone's permission to do to live your life or to work so what I've done is I've built a course I've created modules I've created a whole platform I've bought a domain and I'm really really excited to share it with you guys so so what I'll do is I'll drop the course down below first link in the description and Again, I wanna make this course special, so I'm only opening limited slots. We're gonna have weekly Zoom calls, we're gonna have a Discord group, we're gonna have all that good stuff. But this video is gonna be just the basics of how you can quit your nine to five, stuff that you should start doing. And of course, if you're seriously interested and you really do want to quit your nine to five and you wanna work for yourself and you wanna be free and you wanna live happy like me, I've started from the very bottom and now I'm not super successful, or super rich or anything like that. I'll never tell you guys, something that I'm not. I'm just very happy and I'm free and I'm able to do what I want every single day, which is, to be honest, the most important thing to me. If I could earn a million a year by working in an office or I could earn, I don't know, 100K a year being completely free and doing what I want, I'd always choose the 100K, 100%. Who needs a million pound when you have to sit in an office wearing a shirt and tie at a desk and be told when to go for your lunch and all that stuff? Honestly, that is the worst way to ever live your life. Again, for some people, Maybe that is how you should live your life. Maybe you need a structure. Maybe you just like the routine of nine to five. You like to go home, go to the gym, eat your dinner, watch Netflix. That's fine. That's very nice if you enjoy doing that. But for those people who are sick of that, don't want to follow those rules and want to kind of get more out of their life, work on something that they're actually passionate about and feel like they have a true purpose in life. Rather than building someone else's dream, building their own dream, then this video is for you, the course is for you, and I promise I'm gonna coach you guys along the way, the weekly calls, the Discord chat, I'm gonna be on it every single day. This is what I'm putting all of my effort into now. Mike told me to do this a very, very long time ago, and I just never had the time to do it. So. The course, like I said, will be in the description. I am doing limited, limited spaces. So I've been using a program called Trello, which I can use on my laptop and I can use on my phone. And it's a really good way for organizing, planning things. And what I've done is I've came up with one, two, three, four, five, six different modules. I'm not gonna tell you everything because if you wanna get the course, you can get the course. So I've got an introduction. Basically, the introduction is about changing your mindset, um, dealing with stress and anxiety, my routines, daily workflow, destroying your greatest enemy, which is, as you know, yourself. And then obviously like a little bit of an introduction to who I am. So maybe if you've never watched this channel before, you have no idea who I am. My name is Louis Armstrong. I'm 29 years old. I currently live in Ibiza, the best place in the world. As you guys all know, I've had a crazy summer, lots of parties, lots of fun with all my friends. Literally had the best time of my life. This year I was able to buy my dream car, which literally was a dream come true. Everyone laughed at me when I told them I was gonna become a YouTuber, not an influencer. My job is to make YouTube videos for you guys. I hope to inspire you, I hope to motivate you, I hope to get you out there to travel, to do new things that you might never have done. That's what I feel like my job is. 
that's my purpose to inspire you guys to try something new to do something different to go out and run to go to the gym to go and travel to a new country that's what i feel like my job is and if i can inspire you guys every single day that makes me happy i get a lot of nice messages and i really appreciate all the love and support so basically i went to university after i studied something that i really had no interest in whatsoever um, sports management at the time i wanted to open my own gym i thought that i needed a degree to do that but I really didn't. I have all my personal trainer qualifications, level two, level three, level four. And to be honest, university was just to kill the time for me. Like it was just a something to do because everyone else was doing it and I kind of felt lost and a bit scared at the time I was 17, 18. I didn't have the confidence that I do now to go out and do something on my own. So that's why I went to university. To be honest, I have absolutely no regrets whatsoever. Like it was a stepping stone. It gave me time to decide what I wanted to do. And actually during my graduation, that was one of the first videos that I ever filmed for my YouTube channel and that's when I as I was leaving university as I had finished my dissertation all of that boring stuff and um, that's when I decided you know what, I'm gonna try and make videos online I was watching a guy called Casey Neistat at the time basically did daily vlogs for almost three years and that really inspired me I ended up buying a drone because of him I bought a GoPro because of him and eventually I brought a professional DSLR camera because of Casey Neistat so once I finished university is I had no more commitments nothing else to do in England, in Newcastle, the town where I was born, and I moved to Ireland with my girlfriend at the time. After that, I purchased a drone. I was learning to fly a drone for my own YouTube channel, and then I got a really good job opportunity to take real estate photos using my drone. So I traveled around Ireland taking real estate photos with my drone, made some good money, bought a camera, and as I was learning how to make videos with the camera, I was making all the videos for myself, my YouTube channel. Really, really bad videos at the time, but I was learning every single day. And eventually, the opportunity that I had taken the drone photos then turned into can you take normal real estate photos so can you go into a house uh, an abandoned building or whatever and take photos show the space so we can show before and after photos if we're going to renovate it if we're going to sell it what we're going to do with it so i ended up doing that for almost two years but on the side of that i was still making my own videos still trying to get better at my craft and i realized that like i'm really really passionate about making videos putting them online and hearing people's response i want to show people my life and how i like to think of my life is almost like a self-experiment like biohacking as people call it these days so with my youtube channel i kind of use it to self-experiment i like to do like 30 day challenges 30 days of cold showers 30 days of running 5k every day 30 days of push-ups every day 30 days of eating vegan i like to do self-experiment experiments, biohacking as they call it now, on my body to see how I feel, to see how my body changes, to see how my mind changes and I like to document it, put it on YouTube, do little challenges, travel the world, show you guys, bring you guys with me to nice restaurants, to nice parties, all of that stuff. That's me in a nutshell. So anyway, went a little bit off track there. So as I was taking all these photos of houses and buildings and all that boring stuff, on the side, I would make my own YouTube videos, like I just said at the time, not so good to be honest. But on top of that, I would also make videos for other people. So at the time I was living in Belfast, which wasn't a really good place to vlog. I would say I was probably one of the only people in the whole city who made vlogs. And there was no influencers or other content creators or anyone like that at the time that I was aware of. Um, so what I would do is I would make videos for like gyms, personal trainers. I first couple of videos that I did were for a rugby player called Mike McComish. I was very grateful for the opportunity and that was some of the first videos that I ever did. Of course I was doing all these videos for free just so I could get better so I could see what it was like to make video for someone else rather than just for myself at the time when I was making my YouTube videos I was vlogging myself with my tripod so it was very important for me to go out there and film videos for other people I would direct the video of course but they would have a concept for the video and then I would go out and try and create a video based around their concept I would direct it myself and see if I could add some value to their business or to their social media in some way I did that for a while and then the kind of the whole turning point was a guy called Rob Lipset he's a fitness influencer one of my best friends now he was doing uh, basically a talk down in Dublin with a load of other fitness influencers from America. And of course, me watching YouTube all the time, trying to build my own YouTube channel, I started to watch fitness influencers, Rob Lipset, Mike Thurston, Christian Guzman, Steve Cook, all of those guys, and I felt very inspired by them. So I went down to Dublin, Rob Lipset did a talk with Christian Guzman, Shawley, Max Tunin, Nabil, who's a really good videographer, Ben Keeley, all these other really good videographers were there as well. I sat there for two hours and literally after I left, I felt so excited. I was like, if these guys are doing this, I feel like I can do it too. I feel like I've got the potential. I feel like I've got the confidence. I just need to get better at doing videos. And I think 
if I can follow in their footsteps, I've heard their story, now I know what they've done, I think I can almost copy it and get into a similar similar position as them. I brought my camera to the event, I took photos of everyone, of all the, the guest speakers and all that stuff. I sent the video, I sent the photos to Rob, I said, look Rob, I attended your event down in Dublin, so nice to meet you. I don't know if you remember me, my name's Louis, but um, I would love to come down and make some videos for you sometime in Dublin. And Rob was like, yeah, of course. By the way, previous previous to this, I messaged Rob like a hundred times asking, could I come and make videos for him? Could I take photos from him? Could I do anything to help kind of grow his YouTube, grow his social medias? Eventually Rob replied, mainly because I had attended his event. So he was grateful to me that I paid to go to his event. And then he almost acknowledged me on Instagram. And that was kind of the way I got my foot in the door. So after that, about a month later, I started traveling down to Dublin to film videos with Rob on a weekend when I wasn't working my nine to five for the week. Rob started to like the videos. I was getting a lot better. People on YouTube were noticing that Rob had a new videographer and I was doing a really good job and I was really starting to enjoy it. And then I had to go down and film Saturday, film Sunday, and then during the week, whilst I was at work, I would edit Rob's videos because most of the time in my nine to five, I was sat at a desk with nothing to do, no purpose, not feeling too fulfilled and just kind of wasting my time sat at a desk pretending to do something when I could have actually been doing something far more useful with my time. Basically what happened after that, Probably two or three months after filming videos with Rob, Mike Furston, who is another big fitness influencer, if you don't already know, Uncle Mike, literally my best friend. Um, he was my manager in a previous job at Hollister when I worked in retail when I was 15, 16. So I already kind of knew Mike, but he reached out to me and said, wow, seeing the videos you've been doing with Rob, um, I'd like to offer you an opportunity. Would you come to Dubai with me for 10 days, film two videos, I'll pay for everything. If you do a really good job, I'll then take you traveling around the world with me for two years. So I was like, wow, um, of course. So I had to speak with my boss and work, and my boss, I have to be very grateful for, again, who gave me all these opportunities, said, of course, please go ahead, go to Dubai, take the week off work, I don't mind. Go out and do the best job you possibly can for Mike, and I'll support you every step of the way. So that was very good. Made it very easy for me, having a nice boss who believed in me and who also supported me. So that made things definitely a lot easier. So anyway, I end up going to Dubai with Mike, smashing all the videos, and then basically I come home, and this is the point where I decide, do you know what, I think I am have a really good opportunity here. I'm gonna quit working in an office and go and travel the world with Mike. And of course I had to make sacrifices at the time. I had a girlfriend who I lived in Ireland with. I had to leave her to go travel with Mike. I had to leave the office, which I had a comfortable monthly income. Yeah, I kind of risked it all to go and work with Mike. At the time, I wasn't even sure if I was good enough to be Mike's videographer. But anyway, me and Mike went filmed for two years, traveling the world, Dubai, Barcelona, New York, America, Mexico, everywhere around the world, Spain, Europe, you name it, me and Mike went there, filmed loads of videos, and okay, that's kind of the story. Eventually, about a year ago, I stopped working with Mike, we're still best friends, but to make my own YouTube videos to go full time for myself, to make content on Instagram for various brands and sponsorships, and to just really focus on myself. So I no longer had anyone to answer to, and I could go to work whenever I want, make content whenever I want, make the type of content that I enjoy making, and I'm fully responsible for myself. So that happened over the space of probably four years. So I went from leaving university, working a normal nine to five, being a videographer, working for free, being a paid videographer for various fitness influencers, to then being able to just make my own YouTube, make my own income and be fully free, having no one tell me what to do. So that's my story. Definitely, if I can do it, you can do it too, because honestly, I'll be completely honest, I'm not the hardest worker in the room by any means, but I am quite good at meeting people, networking, and I'm good at just putting myself out there I'm not too scared to take risks, which is a really big thing. And honestly, if I can do it, if I believe in myself to do it, you can do it too. And you're gonna have a lot of people along the way telling you, don't be so stupid, don't leave your, don't leave your stable job, don't leave a stable income to go and risk it, to go and make videos or photos. People tell you you're stupid. People definitely told you, would have told you you're stupid four years ago when I was trying to do this because videography, photography, and social media wasn't that big back then. But now is a very good time to go and do it. So I'm gonna go through some of the modules. I'm not gonna tell you too much on this video because I've already talked a lot there about my story. So let me try and give you some advice that I've learned over the last four or five years. By the way, you might not want to be a photographer, a videographer, or a content creator. You might want to be an online coach. You might want to be, I don't know, you could be anything. 
So just apply this to your own, own life in your own way. So first question is, what would you be doing if money was no issue? So think about if you had all the money in the world, you had all the supercars, you had a nice house, you could travel freely. What would you do with your day? What's your purpose? What makes you happy? What what makes you get out of bed in the morning? Think about that. The next thing is you need to find your passion or you need to try and find your passion. And in order to try and find your passion, you need to think in life about the things that you actually don't want to do. I've done all the shit jobs in the world, like digging holes for, I don't know, I've dug, honestly, there's been jobs where I've been digging holes in the middle of the winter, frozen mud, blisters all over my hands on the spade because I was being a laborer, carrying bricks for a house. I've done all the shit jobs. I've worked in a restaurant for £3.90 an hour on Christmas day. I've done all that stuff. That's all the stuff that I definitely don't want to do. So I think it's very good to try various different things, realize what you don't want to do, and then that's gonna point you more in the direction of what you should be doing and what you do want to do. The next thing is you need to kind of build yourself a safety net. So in some cases, it might be moving back in with your parents. It might be cutting out monthly costs. Like if you have a car at the minute that you're paying monthly for, cut it out. If you have an apartment, cut it out, move back in with your parents, take the bus to work. Do all of this stuff that you're currently spending money on, which you don't actually need to be. Humble yourself a little bit, take a few steps back, start saving money, five to 10K. And then when you're ready, when you've followed all the next steps, which we're gonna go through in more detail in a minute, if you've got 10K sitting in your bank, you're a lot more likely to take bigger risks and you've got something to fall back on should whatever you're trying fail. If you fail, it's fine, you can get back up, try again. But if you've got that safety net of 10K, money in the bank, living with your parents, uh, low monthly spend, then you're gonna have a much better chance at being successful in finding your passion and escaping the nine to five. So safety net is very, very important. And I cover that in a lot of detail in the course. The next thing is finding a job that allows you to escape the nine to five. So in most cases, it's gonna be a service-based job. Um, examples of that are, again, photographer, videographer, uh, online coach, whether that's mindset coaching, whether it's physical coaching, whether it's nutritionist, um, you could be a copywriter, you could be a video editor, all different things like this. There's various different jobs. Type in online service-based jobs. You could be a personal assistant online. You could be, there's various different things. Google it, check it out. I'm assuming most of you who are watching this, one of the main things you wanna do, especially if you live in the UK and it's getting dark at four o'clock in the winter and it's raining every day, is you wanna live abroad. You wanna to go to Bali, you wanna to go to Ibiza, you want to go somewhere tropical, somewhere beautiful, somewhere amazing, somewhere where there's more opportunity, Dubai, where you can do collabs every day with new people and be around like-minded people, okay? So I've given you the basics there. Think about all this stuff. And again, if you're interested, buy the course. I'm gonna coach you through all this stuff. I'm gonna try and give you the best advice I possibly can. So I've already told you my step-by-step, -step, which is probably one of the most important things. I've told you it in as small detail as possible, as briefly and as fastly, fastly. <laughs> I've told you briefly and as fast as I could about my step-by-step. -step. So university, my 9 a.m. till 5 p.m. I haven't really gone into this too much, but when I used to finish work at 5 p.m., I'd go to the gym, I'd go have my dinner, and then I'd go back to the office and I would learn how to edit videos, I'd learn how to edit photos, I'd work on my own stuff, and I'd get better at my craft, better at something I was passionate about. I'd be watching videos on how to use my camera, all of that stuff, but I go through all of these steps in full, detail in the course. The course is like five hours long. It's literally me sitting, poking, telling you about my life, giving you examples of what I've done, giving you lessons on when I've been successful and also when I failed. I'm very, very honest throughout the course. There's been many things that I've tried and I've failed. So be prepared for that. Again, you have to take sacrifices and you have to take risks if you're really gonna be committed to quitting your nine to five. It's not gonna be easy. The easy thing to do is work nine to five because everyone does that and that's how the world works right now. So you are gonna have to make sacrifices and you are gonna have to take risks. But again, I'll talk about that in more detail in the course. And again, you're gonna have to find a side hustle. So my side hustle was photography, videography. It might not be for you. Um, most of you people who watch this channel like travel, like fitness, like photography, videography. So you can definitely, an online coach, so many people now are moving to online coach. What's the point in going to the gym and spending your physical time with a client when you could literally coach them just as easy from afar and you can coach far more people. You can have far more of an impact on way more people's lives by doing it online than being physically one-to-one -one with a client in a gym every day. So just think, change your mindset, 
and start to think differently to the normal nine to five. Um, I do a big section on working with brands and obviously I've worked with some of the biggest brands in the world, BMW, Land Rover, Red Bull, Lululemon, Gymshark, Ghost, My Protein. I've worked with Nike, I've worked with Jaguar, um, who else? I've worked with many different brands, but I put, I put the list somewhere on my uh, course Airbnb recently. So I've worked with a lot of big brands and I talk about building trust with big brands like BMW, like how I not just took a one-off job for BMW, but built a relationship with BMW to then get further jobs, further work. And what a, a big thing that I do, rather than taking a one-off job for a brand and doing a, doing a good job one-off, I try and build a relationship. So that means that I can work with this brand continuously, whether that's monthly, whether that's bi-monthly, or whether it's every two or three months. And I try and build the relationship and communicate with the brand more personally so that I'm not just getting paid for a one-off job. I'd rather take less money in the beginning, build a relationship, show them what I'm capable of doing, and then continue to work with that brand, especially if it's a big brand like BMW, for the rest of my life. And honestly, when you're working with brands, definitely quality is more important than quantity. I'd much rather work with three big brands and then work with 10 small brands who are paying me a small amount of my money a month. If I can work with three big trusted brands who I love the product, they provide a good product, my audience is happy with a product that they provide and a service that they provide, that brings far more value to me, to the brand and to my audience. So I go into that a lot of detail in the course. I'm sorry I'm always referring to the course. If you have any questions, by the way, on this, of course I wanna give you guys as much help as I possibly can for free, but I just felt like five hours of content was too much for YouTube, and that's why I put it into a course. And I'm also giving you all of the secrets that I've learned over the last five years of my life, so, and I do think it's gonna add a lot of value. But if you have any questions at all, leave them down below in the comments, and maybe the next video that I do to this, I'll answer as many of your questions as I possibly can. And again, I wanna make more videos like this where I just sit down, talk about my experience in life, and try and help you guys and girls as much as I possibly can. Um, so then after that, after I've told you my step-by-step, -step, I then have a full section on networking, which I believe I'm not the best videographer in the world, I'm not the best photographer in the world, I'm not the best content creator in the world, I'm not the hardest worker, I'm not the most organized, but one thing that I'm very, very good at and that I've learned over time is how to network, how to speak to people, how to meet and greet people, how to thank people for their time, for doing favors for you. If you're gonna offer, if someone's gonna do something nice for you and help you in life, then what can you offer them in return? Never ever take, take, take from people because people will soon realize that this guy's just using me for this. If you if you take something from someone, if someone helps you in any shape or form or way, what you need to do is then think about, hold on, which of my skills can I use to return the favor to that person so that they've done something for me and I've done something for them. You never just wanna take and not return something. So that's a big thing that I've learned in my 29 years of life and I go into that in a lot of detail. And I talk about how over the summer, I've started to work, me and Joel especially, working with DJs, Black Coffee, Fember, all of those guys making videos in the clubs and shooting luxury villas, real estate. Me and Joel arrived here in May and didn't really know anyone. And now we've made all these connections, like really high-end clients with multi-million pound luxury villas. We're shooting all of their content. We're shooting content for DJs and we're literally living the best life possible. So I talk to you about all of this stuff in the course, but a huge part of it is networking, how you communicate with people, how you go about meeting people initially, and of course, providing a service or providing content like what me and Joel do, that is next level and knowing what to do with that content. So me and Joel have, of course we have experience shooting and filming content, editing content, all that stuff, but we're also very aware of how to use social media, TikTok, reels, all of that stuff, where always um, we know what's relevant, we know what's trending, we know what to do to make sure that content goes further and to kind of basically with these, with this older audience of people that we're creating content for, like the people that we're doing villas, the people whose content we're shooting in the villas are 40, 50 years old, Black Coffee and some of them DJs are 40 years old, like they have no idea how Instagram and stuff works, so we suggest doing reels, doing stories, and changing the way they shoot, film, and post their content. So that's how me and Joel have been adding value over the summer. But again, I'll go into that 
in more detail in the course. Another big thing that I talk about in the networking section is thinking ahead. So when I was working with Mike, I always knew, and Mike always knew, I made it very clear to him in the beginning that I wasn't gonna be Mike's videographer forever. I wanted to be on my own YouTube channel. I wanted to be in Mike's videos. I didn't want to always be behind the camera and how I went about doing that by being respectful and also being very clear and gaining the trust of Mike, Matt Does Fitness, Rob, Harrison Twins, all those guys. I'm now in their vlogs and they're in my vlogs as like my, literally my best friends. And there was a time where I was just stood behind the camera filming for them. And I was new in my head, I always made clear to them, look, what can I do for you for free so that one day maybe you'll be on my video and collaborate with me and help my channel grow and stuff like that. So there's a whole section on that. But again, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And the final section is just like a few extra bits. So how to find clients, building a solid client base, having multiple income streams, um, the breakdown of my income streams, um, which I've never really talked about before. And then I tell the full story about my clone brand, which was over, which still is over, and I hope to bring back one day very soon. But yeah, that's as much information as I can give right now on YouTube. Um, again, it comes down to basic things. Having that safety net, having something that you're passionate about, living with a purpose, knowing that you can change people's lives in some way by offering a product or a service that you can create, realizing that if you're sitting at a desk nine to five, you're building someone else's dream and you're not gonna feel fulfilled when you leave every day. Some people, as I said, I'm not, I, I don't wanna be stereotyping, I don't wanna be completely generic, but some people do just sit at a desk all day and do the bare minimum work and honestly, that doesn't make you feel good. It doesn't make you feel fulfilled. You're living with almost no purpose, so if you are ready to make that jump to quit the nine to five, to have freedom, to live happily, to live wherever you want in the world, to work from your laptop, to work from your phone, I'm trying to help you with as much of that as possible. And if you've never even thought about that before, maybe this video inspires you to start thinking like that. And yeah, I'd like to say thank you for watching. I know I've rambled on for a very long time there, but that's my story, that's my steps that I took to get into the position that I'm in now. I'm very, very happy here in Ibiza. I can travel wherever I want. I work from my laptop. I bring my camera and my tripod everywhere with me. I work with some of the biggest brands in the world. I live with my two best friends and life is very good. If there's ever a success story, I'm not, I told you I'm not super, super, super successful now, but I am happy. I'm not super, super rich, but I am happy and I'm free. If I can do it, you guys can definitely do it too. And take as much of the information that I've told you in this and from my course and use it. Use it with your own initiative. Change your mindset, change your way of living and see what you can do. But again, if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments section and I'll do a follow-up video to this where I answer as many of your questions as I possibly can and try and give you a little bit more information. So, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.